Hey guys, it's Gacha from HD and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this scrolling number animation in DaVinci Resolve 18. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So it doesn't have to be numbers. Realistically, it could be just whatever words or text, but it looks better on numbers and it's just been more of a popular thing. So the first thing that you guys want to do is go to your effects right here and grab the text plus or in other words, the custom text. You want to go ahead and place it into the timeline, just depending on your length, it might be a little bit different, but watch this video first, and then you could implement what you learn into your timeline. So for this example, it's just going to be four seconds, very easy and straightforward. So on text right here, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna list the years 2000 to 2025, as it is a new year. So I already uh, have it. I could just click on control uh, V and just paste right here. So as you can see, I have listed all the years. Now this step is very important. I want you guys to modify the font that you're going to be using. The reason why I say that is because it might just change on how it might look for you uh, after finishing it off. So I recommend just do the fonts and you can mess with the colors and all that stuff later on. Just at least have the fonts and the sizing uh, accurate as possible. So I like to use the Mont fonts right here. Uh, or even, I think for this one, I might use uh, the italics one, if I have it. The extra bold italics. I think it looks fine on that one. Uh, sizing, I'm going to go ahead and increase the sizing to my liking. Uh, this one should be fine right here. A little bit bigger. I think, that, I think this one's fine. Next, you want to go to the beginning of your timeline and you want to right click on the text right here and click open in Fusion page. It might take a while depending on your system, but it should look something like this. If it doesn't look like this, it might look something like this. Now, I'm not a big fan of two screens right here, hence why I only have one. And if you just want one big screen, you can just click off on these effects and you have one big screen. So just a heads up you don't have to do it like that i just have it like that so now your screen should look something like this uh what you guys want to do is click on template and in your keyboard shift space select rectangle it should be the first one right here and click on add now what i want i want my number 2000 to be the first one right so i go right here on layout and I scroll all the way down till I see my first number being 2000. Now you can see that my next number 2001 shows a little bit. So right here, when I go back on rectangle, I could adjust it to just look at that first number. Now try and make this as symmetrical as you can. I know sometimes that not. I know sometimes that's very really hard, but just try and make it as symmetrical as possible. Next, right here on the rectangle node, uh, right here we have the option of soft edge. So this is just a bonus. If you guys want to add it, I would highly recommend it. It basically shows like the next number right here. So it would look something like this. Like I said, you don't have to add it, but I would recommend it. If you do it too high, the first one might look kind of blurry, but I could go over that option right now because I am going to add it. Now, I want my first and my last number to be shown a little bit longer than the rest of my numbers, correct? So on transform, I want to add a keyframe on the offset Y and I want to skip 40 frames. So if you do not know how much is 40 frames, you're going to tell right here at the bottom right of the media out one and I'm going to add another keyframe, right? Same thing over here. I want my last number in this case 2025 to be shown for at least 40 frames so i want to go all the way back to wait which is my number again 239 so it's going to be so it's going to be right here on 199 and on offset i want to show that 2025. <laughs> Perfect. So now it should look something like this.
Alright, not that bad. I could improve this little animation that we have here. Uh, on rectangle, I'm going to add the soft edge. But the problem is if, if I add the soft edge at the beginning, it looks kind of weird. Like for the first couple of seconds. This part is fine, but then at the end you can see it. So I'm going to add some keyframes to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the soft edge right here uh, to zero. I'm going to skip till I see my animation right here on the 40. That's where, where my and my little animation starts, right? So I click on another keyframe and I skip three keyframes. So I go one, two, three. So when I'm roughly in the middle of the both numbers, what I'm going to do is change the soft edge to 0 0.06, right? Now I want to do the same thing to the other one right here at the back. So it's going to be 199. So 199 is the last number, right? So I go click on the keyframe right here, which is going to be zero. Then I go 199. Then it's going to be three keyframes. One, oops. Uh, one, two, three, uh, put 0 0.06. So now if done correctly, it should look something like this. All right, perfect, not that bad. So I wanna improve my animation a little bit more. So I'm gonna to go to spline right here and click on rectangle and templates and right here, go to zoom to fit. I want to scroll all of these little lines, the pink, the yellow, the blue, and just on your keyboard without clicking anything else, click on S. So this is, go this is going to make the curves a little bit better. It's going to make the animation a little bit smoother. Uh, so if we go down play, we could go ahead and see this a little bit more. And look at the difference, right? We have this compared to the other one. Now, you guys could be a little bit extra. I'm not saying you guys have to, but this is another bonus tip if you guys would like. Uh, you could add some motion blur to it. Like I said, it's really up to you if you want to add it or not. So you could click on shift space right here on the template. Click on, mo on motion. On motion blur. And I would recommend going low, to be honest. Like try intervals of five. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and stuff like that to see which one fits best for you. And if you click on play, um, it should look something like this. So like I said, you don't have to do it. I would just recommend if you want to spice it up a little bit more. And then from the last thing that you guys want to do is go back to your timeline. And I'll just customize your text. You can add shadows. You can add a glow. You can add a, uh, a outline. You can do whatever you want and your timeline should look as perfect as this now in case you want to make your numbers a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller without fixing your whole thing you could go to your settings right here on fusion and you could go on zoom zoom in and zoom out uh it doesn't really mess with anything else uh it just if you guys want it a little bit smaller a little bit bigger you know sometimes people have it at the bottom corner you want to do that as well uh you could do whatever you want with it uh but yeah, that's also an option in case you guys were curious. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe, hit the like button, and see you guys later. Take this, guys.